Hello world, Chatty Dad one here with you today. Hope everyone's well. I'm on my lunch break. So I decided to make a little video. It's here raining. Um, not bad, but it's been drizzling all day. Um, got wet. Had to come home, change my clothes, get something to eat. Decided I'd make a little video because we got a lot going on um, right now. We have this whole thing with Obamacare right now. And pretty much the people don't want anything to do with it. And I don't believe from what I've heard on the radio and stuff, I don't believe they have the votes to uh, make this happen. I think that they're going to vote to defund it, um, but they are saying that it's going to shut the government down, okay? This is what they're saying, that defunding Obamacare is going to defund everything else, and the government's going to shut down, we're not going to pay our bills, Obama said we're going to default on everything, and I guess the gates of hell will be opened and uh, the devil will just come on out and just start doing his thing. Now, this is going to go down in October, the first part of October. What else do we have going down in the first part of October? Well, we've got the trucker strike that's going down and I support the independent truckers on this um, I don't know that it's going to do any good but I'd like for their fuel cost and stuff to come down as well because that will in turn help everything come down in price I know that they have a tough time paying for fuel and they're, you know, more and more stuff. They're just tacking on to them. More fees, more this, more that, you know. Um, the True Ray did a great video that I listened to the other night about the truckers. <clears throat> and, she, you know, she was reminding everybody what it takes for these guys, these independent truckers, to make their trucks go, to get stuff where it needs to go. And uh, they, they're just killing them. Everything is just killing them. They're drowning. I mean, some of these guys are probably going into debt just to try to stay afloat, along with everybody else. Everybody that I know that's not on government assistance has just about maxed their credit cards out to where they can't pay the minimum. Um, payment. And we are slowly being strangled. We've got this boa constrictor wrapped around us and it's clenching down hard. It's a slow bleed and I've done a video on that before too. What I think is happening is a slow bleed by the uh, New World Order, uh, the powers that be. They're bleeding us dry. They're slow bleeding the middle class to put us out of commission. They want an upper class and a lower class. They don't want a middle class. They want people who are powerful to control the people and have those others be totally dependent on the government, on the powerful, and stuff like that. That's what I believe they're trying to do. But I support these um these independent truckers they really need our help 
And if this goes down and this becomes a big thing, we all need to stand up and back them up and be with them on this thing. We need to pay attention to this first day, the 11th. And if we, this, if we see this thing getting big, stand up with them. Don't buy stuff. I've got my two-week supply of stuff ready to go. Um, you know, a lot, and a lot of you are right. We've got to do something. You know, this might not be the best thing right now, but we got to do something. And who knows, maybe nothing will come of this. But along with that, we have this. This is the Sleuth Journal, FEMA Preparing for Major Event in Region 3. And this is on October 1st. Okay. These 386,000 UN troops are going to be finished training. They're going to be ready to rock and roll. We've seen what happened here in Washington with this guy um, that somehow got a shotgun and a pistol into a Navy base, assembled it in the bathroom as far as I understand, and went on a shooting rampage. And nobody could take him down because nobody could carry a firearm in there. Except those who come in there illegally and, and, and do this stuff. So, <clears throat> you know, this is going down right now. And uh, there's a lot, a lot of stuff could happen here in October. In the, in the second week of October, I believe, is going to be D-Day. Just to see. Now, they've already done a dry run to see what the American people will do in Watertown, Massachusetts. And sadly, sadly, we failed. We failed the test because we were faced with enormous, superior firepower. And, you know, when you've got cops coming up in uh, these tank-like vehicles with heavy machine guns and light machine guns and all this stuff, coming in your house and searching you, uh, you know, what are you going to do? You're, you're probably going to do what they did. So, you know, and uh, the UN troops, they finished training. Plus, we got the Russians over here that Obama called in to help out with FEMA. I mean, we've got some major stuff um, gearing up. There's a lot of stuff gearing up right now to go down. And like I say, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that the government thinks it's prepared for something big to happen. And I do know that we've got this trucker strike. We've got Obamacare could be defunded, which will in turn shut down the government. And that means probably no more food stamps. Could mean no more Social Security checks. It could mean a lot of things. I don't know. Hopefully that won't be the case. But it very well could be a punishment that Obama dishes out to the American people for going against this thing. Because people are not for this. They do not like having the government tell them what medication they need to take and what they don't need to take. I heard a story about a an older woman who was denied 
them filling her prescription of antibiotics because she was too old to get this medicine. And what kind of crap is that? You know, what kind of bull crap is that? That's just disgusting. They've got this medication out there and they want total control okay people are waking up people are seeing the writing on the wall they're seeing the truth in a big way we've got a serious backlash here from the american people because they are sick and tired of the bull and they've had enough we have all had enough so and and then of course you know like i said the government shut down trucker strike un troops finished training fema region 3 um the the shooting that just happened you know and they said that something was going to happen i don't know if they planned on this happening but um I, I just don't know, you know, and, and who knows what the whole deal was here. It's just funny that these guys are all the lone gunmen, and they're all on these an antidepressants. They all have these uh, mental problems. YouTube channels are being taken down left and right for telling the truth, for being honest. Um... I can't watch what I like anymore because the channels that I like are disappearing fast. Mine would probably go if I had a large subscriber base. But, you know, I'm I'm not that big of a channel. So, so far I'm safe because I'm small. And, uh... We're at a serious crossroads here, or we're fixing to be. We're fixing to be at a major crossroads. Who knows what will happen if the government shuts down? We know what will happen if they um, go through with Obamacare, though. And people don't want that. And now they're scaring them with, well, the government's going to shut down. Just like they scared them with that crap with the with the QE1 or QE2, whichever one it was. Um, well, the government's going to shut down. There's going to be martial law on the streets and blah, blah, blah. It's probably the same crap they're pulling right now. They're probably saying the same daggone thing. And then we have the whole thing with Syria. My gosh. I mean, there's... A lot of stuff going down. We got some major stuff going down. This is fixing to be crunch time. I hope everyone's prepared as much as you can be. Um, I hope you're at least as prepared as me. But, uh, I mean, the middle class, we're struggling. I know that I am. And I know my wife and I both work our butts off. I have a a health condition that, you know, when I get sick, I get sick for a week at a time. Maybe two weeks sometimes. Sometimes I've had to go in the hospital for a week or two. But, uh, and I still, I don't have government, I don't have food stamps, I don't have any of that stuff. I work when I can, when my health is good enough. And, uh... You know, thank the Lord that I can do that. I'm, I'm grateful for that. But anyways, enough of that. We just got to keep trying, y'all. Got to try our best, do our best. That's all anybody can expect out of us is to do our best and to do what's right. Doing the right thing ain't always easy. Sometimes it's very hard. Sometimes it's the worst choice because you really take a hit hard. But doing the right thing helps me to sleep good at night. Anyway, I hope everyone's well. 
God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns unless you uh, unless that's your plan because your rights go right along with them, whatever rights we have left because they're going fast. Pray for our country, pray for our troops. Pray for these independent truckers and for those who are in harm's way, who are being hurt and abused and under the hand of tyranny. Let's all help one another. Try to lift up the hands that hang down, bully each other up, stand shoulder to shoulder by one another. If we don't, we're, we're going to fall. If we don't become united, we will fail. We will fall. I hope everyone has a good day. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.